but Hi. Welcome to our channel. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, just want to bring you a little quick video. Not necessarily a review. Uh, I just want to go over my setup. Uh, this is a Mossberg 590 Shockwave 12 gauge. Uh, you can get these at 4, 10, 20, and 12 gauge now. This one is a 12 gauge. Not reviewing, per se, the gun. Uh, I think the 590 reputation speaks for itself. It's been out for years. I have a 590A1 um, that I've had for a long, long time, and they're great guns. So I'm not really going to be comparing this to like an 870 or nothing. Also great guns, but I will just say that I do prefer the 590. But you won't go wrong with a, a 500 or 870 or any others. Um, anyway, I, I'm not going to really go into the, per se, a lot of the details about this gun. Uh, you can look up the 590 Shotwave, look up uh, how it's considered a firearm. It's not really considered a shotgun, even though it's chambered in 12 gauge. Um, but I'm not going to that. You just do your own research on that. You can see the way this thing normally would come with its Raptor grip and its standard configuration. I just want to go over my setup. Uh, so here's my setup. You know, 14 inch barrel, 12 gauge, non-NFA item. This is considered a firearm. I added the Ergo uh, adapter, which allows me to add any kind of brace or anything like that to it. And I went with the SBA3 stabilizing brace. Love these braces. This is my fourth one. Check the description. Um, I'll have a link to my review on these. Love these braces. So the Ergo Grip Adapter added the SBA3 brace uh, with the SBA3 brace tube, which is a normal mil spec tube, but I did use the one that they sent with it. Um, the adapter allows me to add any kind of AR-15 grip. This was a grip off of my dad's uh, Ruger AR, and it was one that I had just been playing around with a stiff one. So it doesn't look that great, but uh, it's got a really nice, nice texture to it. And uh, it works great for this, so I was like, hey, that'll do the job. So that's the uh, that's the grip on it. Um, I've got the, I believe it's the Tac Star. Let me double check now. I don't want to lie to you. Yeah, the Tac Star four shell holder um, that just mounts onto the side. Got a little bolt here. And uh, really like that. Holds them really nice and secure. I mean, they'll push out of there pretty easy. You can put them either way you want. Simple install. You can look that up on YouTube and find it out. Uh, yeah. Love, love that shell holder. It does the job. This thing has a considerable amount of recoil because of its size. I mean, it is a 14-inch barrel 12-gauge. It's relatively lightweight, but it holds them in there real good. They don't move around and uh, good to go there. Uh, moving forward, I have the factory form. I considered going with the Magpul, but I ended up just staying with the factory form. I really like this corn cob style. This is one of my uh, home defense kind of by the bed guns, so I may end up adding the Magpul form so I can add a weapon light. But for now, I'm just rocking the factory form, and I did remove the strap that normally comes on it. So you do that at your own risk. It uh, you know, it, you don't want your hand to slip off and get up in front of this barrel. But I uh, I didn't. I felt comfortable taking it off, so that's the way I run it. Then I've got the True Glow uh, clip-on fiber optic front sight. It just clips over a normal, you know, round barrel shotgun, and by round barrel, I mean it doesn't have a rib. Uh, I got that off of Amazon. Gives it a real nice sight picture. One problem, if you want to call it a problem, that I had with this thing out of the box was it impacted high uh, with slugs or anything like that. It always hit high, and uh, you know, not a big problem, but it, it bothered me a little bit. But when I got this gun, I had already ordered this sight. So I knew I was going to add this to it regardless of where it hit. And this sight raised it up a little bit, uh, therefore bringing my point of impact down. Uh, so that worked out really good. So now it hits, you put that red dot on there and it hits uh, right where you want it. So no complaints there. 
But uh, I think that's it. That's kind of my setup. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that I can think of. Um, that's about it. You know, if you got any questions on this, you can drop them in the comments. Uh, got my old faithful Glock 26 right here. Just got home. Uh, about to take a shower and close out today, so I went ahead and pulled her off. Got my uh, Flat Dark Earth 26 True Glow TFO sights. Little Fox holster with the uh, comfort pad. As I mentioned, this is one of my by the bed home defense guns, so I got, I did have to unload it before the video, and yes, it is unloaded. Safety correction and click. So that was the rounds I took out of it. Just regular uh, double off buckshot, nothing special there. Uh, I think on a shotgun, this is kind of essential for a home defense or fighting gun, the shell holder, because uh, I agree with the statement that, you know, you generally fight with what you have on the gun. And so a shotgun is kind of limited with capacity. So this is a nice, uh, nice touch. Uh, I think that's it. Um... Uh, you know, just a side note, I did recently pick up a SIG P365. If you fire a fox, if you follow, excuse me, firearms, you'll probably know what that is. And, you know, to be determined, my opinion of it, oh, well, my initial opinion is I love it. It shoots awesome, it carries awesome. Everything about it's awesome. I've put uh, 600 plus rounds through it, I've had three malfunctions. One of them was a failure to go into the battery, but the gun was extremely dirty at that point. So I didn't really count that one against it, but I did have two failures to eject. Um, but they were both with Federal Aluminum ammo, and that was the only two I've had. So, I don't know. I mean, you see what I'm still carrying. So, you know, let the hate begin. I'm still carrying my Glock 26. I just, you know, it's just it's hard to get away from that Glock reliability. But I do like the C365. I love the sights on it. The accuracy is sweet. So, you know, I'm not trying to just beat a dead horse. If you follow uh, follow firearms, you'll you'll know there's been problems with that gun. There still are, but some people get good ones, and I think I got a good one. But, you know, I don't know. I, I probably won't do a video on that gun honestly because the internet's just flooded with videos about it. So, you know, I just got a sample size of one. So there's that. Don't see a point of maybe doing a video on something when there's already a a thousand of them saying the same thing but uh i don't really have any shooting footage of this gun so sorry about that uh you might notice in the intro there's a little short clip of me shooting it. that's the only uh, shooting footage i have of this gun i've put several hundred rounds through it i mean it's a 590 you know you just pick your configuration of 590 and you're going to be good to go uh, they're great guns uh if you got any uh opinions about my intro uh or i shouldn't say opinion so much it's just you know, ideas. I just wanted to make an intro. I was just playing around, editing some videos together. And I, I thought it would be funny to just, uh, or not funny, but just something, you know, a little more different just to make a little intro for my videos. And I may start putting that before all of them. Uh, so, y'all, anybody hates that or likes that or whatever, just tell me what you think about it in the comments. I may or may not keep that from now on in my, uh, in the beginning of my videos. But, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. You know, here's my setup. I went over it. You know, a little bit. If you got any questions about how I set this one up, or uh, you know, if you're maybe wanting to set something up like this, you just uh, drop it in the comment. Let me know. I'll try to answer any questions that I can. If you give me a, a stupid question, or you know, I'm not gonna say a stupid question. There's no stupid questions. But if you know, if you're rude in the comments or just talking crap about something, I'm generally just going to ignore it and move on. So. Uh, but, you know, if you're friendly and just want to have a good conversation, then I try to reply to everybody. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Drop any questions you have in the comments. See you next time.